Hello everyone. Welcome. Today, let's try to understand research methodology, the basics. What is research methodology? Let's look at it from a different angle. Let's try to understand with a small case that really happened. A car that does not like vanilla ice cream. Doesn't that look interesting? A car not liking vanilla ice cream? Yes, it really happened. Way back in the 1930s, a car called Pointac was bought by a family. This family was actually a little larger family, which consisted of father, mother, three children. And they had a very strange, uh, oh, not strange rather, they usually have their dinner quite early by about 7 o'clock. And then they go for a small outing. In this outing, they buy ice cream and they eat ice creams in the night. What strange happened is, after buying this car, whenever this family goes and buy an ice cream, especially a vanilla ice cream, the car doesn't start. That became very strange. You buy strawberry, you buy um, milkshake, whatever, whatever sort of ice cream you buy, no problem. But if you buy vanilla ice cream, the car doesn't start. The people in the uh, family started getting panicked, especially the head of the family. He started becoming much anxious about why this is happening. Only when vanilla ice cream you buy and enter the car, the car doesn't start. So he wrote a letter to the general manager of Point Tack. And Point Tack, general manager, very wisely gave a reply with a quick span of time. And he also sent a mechanic to, the, to uh, investigate as what is happening. In two, three days, the mechanic tried in and out, but there was no problem. Then he tried to observe them very closely. And for a week, he escorted them wherever they went. And he noted something very strange. Whenever they go for evening outing, buy the ice cream. Usually when they buy vanilla ice cream, the person, usually the eldest in the family, that is uh, the, the, the elder one, he goes and gets the ice cream and comes back in seven minutes if it's a vanilla ice cream because vanilla ice cream is kept in the entrance where the billing is happening because it is a fast moving consumer good. It, it goes in plenty. So it is kept there, you can buy and come back in seven minutes. But if there is any other free flavor, you have to go deep inside into the vault, into the deep cold storage, get it back and come. You take close to 17 to 15 to 17 minutes. It's a pretty long time. So, and in that particular era, in the initial days of car, you had something called vapor lock. Now, vapor lock is a problem that mostly affects the gasoline fuel in the internal combustion engines way back in 1930s on initial days, stages of vehicles, right? So, this was discovered by this car mechanic and that really made sure that Point Tack eradicated this problem of vapor lock. I'm not here to discuss about vapor lock, but to make you understand what is research. Research is just like this. You try to understand the reason behind it. You try to understand why this is happening. It can, it can, you can really apply research in day-to-day -day life. It is a scientific and systematic search for pertinent information on a specific topic. So as simple as that. So here we come to the simplest definition of research. Research is reason search. Thank you ladies and gentlemen.